Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here with another page from my Smashbook. I'm using the large red K & Company Smashbook, and I'm deciding which page I want to use. I know that I wanted a darker page for my background, so I decided on this dark gray, and I'm going to be cutting this page down. Um, I'm just deciding here how much I want to take off. There's no certain amount, so I just decided on one and three quarters of an inch. So I'm using my T-square ruler, and I'm going to give myself a straight line to follow. And I'm going to use my Martha Stewart craft knife, my Tim Holtz steel edge ruler, and I'm placing a mat behind it. And I'm just taking off that edge there. Super easy to cut through. And now I'm going to cut down the height of my book as well. I decided to take one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom. I just like having different unique pages in my book. So again, I'll use my ruler as a guide and I will cut those off. So I decided to use some pattern paper on this. I pulled out the Heidi Swap paper and I'm using this beautiful floral pattern. It's a black and white pattern, but it has a light pink polka dot throughout. And I absolutely love it and I thought it looked great with this darker page. So I'm just going to use a pencil, mark off where I want to cut and cut it down. And it'll take up most of that paper, leaving myself a, a darker border. My pen was kind of getting in the way. I like leaving the clear plastic on my book because I found that um, when I work on it, it, you know, glue and stuff like that, I'll get on it. So I like to keep it as a covering until I'm done with the book. But I went ahead and cut the pen out because it was just kind of getting in my way. So now I'm using a scallop border that I cut out from my Cameo and I'm going to add that to the edge of my paper and I'm sandwiching it with another piece so it's finished on the back as well. The back is going to have a white scallop, but this pink scallop is matching the same Heidi Swap paper and it's from the same collection. So I'm just using some Scotch Quick Dry. I will sandwich those together and then cut off the excess. And now I decided I wanted a, a tiny border to go between the pattern paper and the scallop. So I'm using the back side of that rose paper and I'm just going to cut a thin strip down. It's this beautiful teal color. And now I'm going to adhere that page down using my ATG gun. and then add this piece down and cut off any excess. So I'm using a black and white photo that I printed. I believe I cut it to four and three quarters inches. I matted it on a white piece of paper, and then I will mat it on a pink piece of paper that also matches the collection that is five by five. And I knew that I wanted to use some yellow in this as well, so I added a yellow stripe to the edge there, as you see. So I'm going to adhere down my photo. I'm adhering it down just a, a little bit sideways. And again, from the same collection, I cut out a tabbed page, added my journaling, and that's going to slip behind my photo. I'm using some party streamer or crepe paper, and I'm cutting out two rows. That's going to go underneath my photo, so I just cut it to approximate the same size as my photo. And I'm using some Martha Stewart fringe scissors that I got from Michaels quite a long time ago, and it cuts very easily through this crepe paper. 
I'm just using some wet adhesive to glue it down and then I will use some hot glue to adhere it to my page. Just cutting it down to size. And I do add my glue leaving room for my journaling spot, but I forgot that there was a banner that I wanted to glue behind there. So in a moment you'll see me, it was still wet, luckily, my photo, so I was able to pull it back up, but you'll see me pull it back up to add my banner first. This is a little journaling spot that I'm adding to it and it says I promise I'll be good. We were taking my dog to the vet and she was going to have surgery and the whole way there and that's why I had to snap a photo. The whole way there she just sat over my seat and just kind of lightly whimpered the entire time. It was the sweetest saddest thing. So I swear she was trying to talk me out of taking her to the vet's office. So here's where I ripped up my photo. I'm adding my banner and then I will re-glue that down and then that'll fit my um, journaling spot behind it. I'm just using a scrap piece of paper to press that down so I don't get fingerprints all over the photo. I also cut out some stars and I cut them out from that pink piece of paper, but when I went to go adhere them down, I really liked the way the yellow looked. So I just went ahead and glued those down, tucking, making sure to tuck one behind my photo. And now I add um, a little bit of doodling with my white Uniball Signo gel pen. And I finished it off with a few enamel dots. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And you'll notice here in just a moment, I decided I didn't like that purple paper behind it. So I'm just going to cut that out. You could rip it out, but it does tend to um, bend your spiral part. So I like to cut it. And I was happier with that paper in the back. So thanks again for watching.